Uh, and now uh, I'm only going to take a question on the oil sands. Uh, so if your question is something else, please put your hand down. Uh, and let me take... Okay. Gentlemen in the red sand, in the red hat, please go ahead. I'm happy to take your question. I thank you for coming to Calgary. My name is Merle Trileski. Hello, Merle. It seems, Justin Trudeau, that as you travel across this country, unless I'm not good at hearing, you've been saying, sorry, sorry, you've been saying two different messages. Down east, you've been telling people that you want to kill the single biggest employer in our province. You're in Alberta right now, sir. You're not in Ottawa. Yet, when you come to Calgary, you tell people you're sorry. Well, I'm sorry. I'm a little confused. There is one of two things, Mr. Prime Minister. You are either a liar or you're confused. And I'm beginning to think it's both. Because you cannot come down to this province and attack the single biggest employer that employs hundreds of thousands of people. And I'll finish here in a minute. Over half this crowd, I'll probably 80% of these people in this room, are university students. They're going to depend on a job that relies on what this shirt says. I love the oil sands. And yet you're attacking their future. Will you take back that remark? Will you retract it utterly and completely and tell Albertans that you are not here to attack the Alberta oil sands and that you will support it and you will do nothing to stop the Keystone Pipeline? I have been extremely consistent in what I have said to Canadians over the past years. I have said repeatedly in many situations, okay, okay, you can, if you're going to ask me a question, you might want to hear the answer. Yeah, that's, uh, I, 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 uh, so I have repeatedly said, I have repeatedly said uh, that, yes, the responsibility of uh, any Canadian Prime Minister is to get our resources to market, and yes, that includes uh, our oil sands, uh, uh, fossil fuels. Uh, we need to get those to market. I've also said that we need to do that in a responsible, sustainable way. That you cannot separate what's good for the environment and what's good for the economy. Do you know, do you know who tried... Do you know who tried to force a choice between the environment and the economy? The last government. They said, we're not going to do anything on the environment, and we're going to get all these pipelines approved. Do you know what they did? They didn't get any pipelines approved. Do you know why? Because people didn't have confidence that they were building for the long term, that they were creating the jobs and the opportunity of the future, because they refused to accept uh, that the way to build a strong economy for the future is to protect the environment at the same time. So I have talked repeatedly about the fact we need to get off of fossil fuels as uh, a dependency we have. We need to move beyond fossil fuels. But that, even, even Stephen Harper recognized we have to get off fossil fuels eventually. We have to do that. We cannot do that right now. We have to manage the transition. And that's why I have approved pipelines that the previous government wasn't able to do. And un unlike the previous government, not only am I approving them, but I'm standing up here in Alberta and in downtown Vancouver and saying I am approving these pipelines because it matters and I'm making a case for the oil sands. And the fact is that demonstrating to the world that we understand the responsibilities that come with resource development for reducing our emissions. You know, if you know the oil sands, sir, you know the kinds of innovation, the kinds of advances, the kind of high tech technology and research that's being done right here in the University of Calgary and uh, up in the oil sands to be more innovative, to be lower in emissions, to be more efficient, to be able to demonstrate what Albertans know, what Canadians know, that we can build a strong economy with good jobs and protect the environment at the same time. That's what Canadians want. Here's 
Here's the question for people in the room. Answer with a show of hands. Who in this room, put up your hand if you think ch climate change is real. Okay, there you go. That's what we have to adjust to. The world is changing. And our job as Canadians is to recognize that that brings with it challenges and opportunities. And my job is to help you prepare to overcome the challenges and take advantage of the opportunities. And that's exactly what Albertans, Calgarians, and Canadians are going to be able to do. Merci beaucoup tout le monde. Thank you very, very much.